friend of the day. I can draw you a picture of that. Here's his friend of the day. Uh, in American history, in American history, uh, our deficit has gone like this, and our unemployment rate has gone like this, and they almost always go in tandem. This is the audiovisual portion of this presentation. <laughs> this is the unemployment rate goes up, the deficit goes up. The unemployment rate goes down, the deficit goes up. And it makes sense because when you're in a recession, we're not collecting taxes and the deficit goes up. And when the economy is doing well, we are collecting revenue. Today, for the first time almost in American history, the unemployment rate is going like this and the deficit is going like this. We are going to have, we have a trillion dollar deficit now. It's going to be two trillion. We got $22 trillion on the balance sheet uh, of, the, of the country, and we have not invested in that. I mean, it's, it, it, the question we should also be asking when we're talking about deficit, what have we spent the money on? We've already talked about that today. Tax cuts for rich people and the wars in the Middle East. The money we've, we're investing in them, we've cut by 35%. We've cut by a third. That's why when they go to college, they're going to have to spend all that money on student loans. That's why we're, our roads and bridges are falling apart. That's the feeling that you have when you say to yourself, our schools aren't as good as they used to be. Or we don't have access to mental health care that we used to have. It's all a consequence of that. And those cuts have been made in the name of fiscal responsibility. Over the 10 years that I've been there, I will say that by and large, the Democrats that are there don't really care about this issue. And the Republicans that are there say they care about this issue, but are even more damaging to the fiscal condition of the country than the Democrats are. And as a result, today, as we stand here, uh, we are collecting 16% of our economy, our GDP and revenue, and we're spending 22%. And everything in between is the deficit deficit that's compounding for those kids. And to me, it's obvious that we have to start moving those lines into the same place. That means we're going to have to collect some revenue. And it means we're going to have to get control of our health care costs because we're spending more than twice what other any other industrialized country in the world is spending on health care. And that's that's the leading cause of, uh, of, the, of the deficit of, of deficit spending. So those two things, some more revenue and, um, uh, and, and dealing with health care costs are what are going to put us in the position to be able to straighten this out. But this is, the, I would say over the 10 years that I've been there, this is the place where we have been, in many ways, least responsible collectively. Um, and it, it becomes hard because we now have a Republican president who ran after all this nightmare, you know, where the Republicans were calling Barack Obama a socialist, a socialist and a Bolshevik and all that, when we were at the worst recession since the Great Depression, and when, uh, when unemployment was at 10%, and he was trying to pass the stimulus package to, to just staunch the bleeding, stop the bleeding, they were all saying, you're a Bolshevik, and we're not gonna help you do it. Now that the economy has recovered, they're actually now growing government more than Obama did, including the stimulus package that he passed. I know it's hard for you to believe that, and I said that at a town hall in Iowa, and somebody said, that's impossible. And I said, it's not impossible, it's true. Because we elected a president who said he was going to give us a huge tax cut, he was going to increase military spending, he wasn't going to touch Medicare, Medicaid, or Social Security, and he was going to pay off the debt in seven years. Guess which one of those things hasn't happened? This is a place where we're going to have to find politicians on both sides of the aisle who are willing to work together in a responsible way, and we haven't found them. 